Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics and our topic for today is volume of common solids and today we are going to be looking at the volume of a cone. So in the previous lesson we looked at the volume of a pyramid. You can go back and check how we calculated that. So a cone the volume of a cone is calculated as a third base area times height. In this case, our base is a circle, so it's going to be a third by r squared h. You notice in our diagram, we have a length, which is the slanting height. Sometimes you can be given the length and the radius, and you're required to look for the height where you apply the Pythagoras theorem. So let's look at situations that uh, the questions that can be able to come and let's do some practice. So calculate the volume of a cone whose height is 12 centimeters and the length of the slant height is 13. So you will notice you've not been given the radius. Remember the formula is a third by r squared height. So we have the height, but we do not have the radius. If you were to draw the sketch, it would look like this. So we have the slant height, which is 30 centimeters, and we have the height, which is 12 centimeters, but we do not have the radius. This forms a right angle triangle. So we have the height, which is 12, and then we have the slant height, which is 13. So we are looking for R. So we can get R by 13 squared is equals to 12 squared plus R squared. So you can bring 12 squared this side. So it becomes R squared is equals to 13 squared minus 12 squared. So 13 squared is the same as 169. And 12 squared is 144. So 169 minus 144 gives us 25. So R squared is equals to 25. If you do the square root of both sides, you get your R as 5 centimeters. Now you have our radius, we have our height. So our formula becomes a third times 22 over 7 times radius now, which is 5 times 5 and then times our height, which is um, 12. So this is the same as 22 times 5 times 5 times 12, which gives us 6,600 over 21, which is 3 times uh, 7. So if you do that division, it's going to give us 340.29, and it is centimeters cubed. So you've seen how we have applied. In this case, you are not given the radius. It's not a must for you to be given radius all the time. You can be told to look for it. And then uh, we are going to practice a few of these, and then you can finish the rest. So I've been given the base area, which is 18 centimeters. This is cubed, uh, square, uh, squared, and then the height is 6. So it looks like this. So the base area is 18 centimeters squared and then the height is six centimeters so remember the formula is a third base area which is by r squared then times height so it is a third and then base area which we have been given which is 18 times height which is six by three one by three six six times six gives us 36 centimeters cubed Second is we have been given the slant height and the height. So in this case, now we do not have the radius. So you're going to show that. So we have the slant height, which is 15 centimeters, and the height, which is 9. We look for the radius. So it's going to be 15 squared is equal to 9 squared plus r squared. So this is the same as you bring the 9 squared this side. So r squared is 15 squared minus 9 squared. And then you do the square root of both sides. So r is equal to the square root of 15. And the 15 squared um, is 225. 
minus 81. So 225 minus 81 gives us 144. So r is equal to the square root of 144, which is equals to 12. So if you are looking at the formula, it's going to be a third times 22 over 7 times our radius now is 12 times 12 times 12 and then times our height, which is 9. So this is the same as 12 times 12 times 22 times 9, which is going to give us 28,512 over 21 which gives us 1,357.71 and it's centimeters cubed. I hope you are following. Uh, let's do uh, D. So we have the base radius. In this case, we have radius, which is 9 centimeters, and we have the height, which is 24 centimeters, meaning you have been given everything that we require to do to solve this question. So the formula is going to be a third by r squared h. So it is a third times 22 over 7 times 9 times 9 times 24. So this is going to be 22 times 9 times 9 times 24, which gives us 42,768 divided by 21 which gives us 2036.57 and it is centimeters cubed. So you can try to do the value of C, uh, which will bring us to the end of the lesson. So you can get more revision questions and notes on the thing uh, in the app so that you can get to be able to apply that knowledge. And even in some cases, you're given some real situation, real life situations. So you can use the formulas that we have used so far to calculate volume to be able to solve those questions. So see you in the next lesson.